Hello and welcome to Reiko Cream Beauty and Aesthetics Academy. I'm Eleonora and this is my colleague Carmen. Today, Hi. Carmen will introduce you and show you and demo our Ferratic body machine. So she will show you how that machine works and you'll be able to see that, learn it, replay the videos and it'll be easy to kind of get on with the, the, the unit. So the Ferradit, or we call it EMS, stands for Electro Muscle Stimulation. It's a passive exercise treatment that tones and tightens the muscles. So if you can imagine, this is like, instead of you going to gym, you can passively, you know, have the same exercise, it have the same effect, laying down, just relaxing and have that contraction. So using the machine, we're gonna, you know, pat the different areas of the body. We're gonna work on the abdomen, the legs, we can do upper arms, back, just different areas where you want to, you know, tone your muscles and uh, have the same effect as you are going to gym. That treatment is good to be done at least three times a week. It's good to do it for a few weeks, tone your body, and you can do some maintenance, maybe twice a week or once a week, just to kind of like keep on with the same, like with the shape. But it's, you have to do it quite regular. It's part of our level three beauty uh, training. So it's one of the most important machines, uh, working on different muscles. So it's really good to, to know the padding, you will know which muscles you're padding exactly, what are the two methods we're working with. And so of course we have gone through consultation. We made sure that our customer is not contraindicated, our model is not contraindicated to the treatment. The most important thing is to make sure that she doesn't have any car diseases, no pacemaker, any metals in the body because we are using current to kind of stimulate the muscles, yeah, through the nerves, through the nerve endings. And so we can have the contraction. So if we have any metals, it's not good. So we have to make sure that, you know, customer definitely doesn't have. Pacemaker, pregnancy, we cannot do anyone that is pregnant or even post um, delivery. I would say probably if customer is breastfeeding, I wouldn't do the treatment, you know, have to finish with that um, kind of stage and then we can carry on. Um, yeah, so it's, it's better to know that. Also, if you have an epilepsy, um, any kind of skin disease or disorder, any infections, any recent scars, um, kind of cuts on the area, so we can't really do the treatment there. So this is like, these are the main ones. So we have to make sure that, you know, customer is suitable for that treatment. Yeah. Also remember yes. about thrombosis, make sure mm -hmm. your client doesn't have oh, yeah. thrombosis and then skin sensitivity loss. Um, exactly. If your client doesn't have any sensation on the skin, she won't be able to tell you if you're working too hard on her and that can overwork the muscle. So always make sure you do your sensitivity test before you do your of course. treatment. Thank you. Yeah, that's, that's good. So those things that we have to consider before we start with treatment, that's why we give the client consultation form. She signs, that's a contract between us and our customer, so we can carry on with our treatment. Okay, so I'll just pass the treatment to my colleague Carmen. And um, yeah, I hope you will enjoy it. This is the Veradic machine that we're going to be using today. Before we start with all the padding and with the client, I am just going to explain to you how the treatment works. So with the Ferradic, you have got two different settings. You have got your irregular pulse and you have got your regular pulse. The difference between them is with your regular pulse, it's a pulse that continues regularly, like timed. With your irregular pulse, it's when your pulses of your Ferradic comes at different stages. In generally, most of the time, you'll be using your regular pulses. Irregular pulses is for your nervous clients that's anticipating the contractions coming. So the contractions is going to go in either groups of two or groups of five. That way your client wouldn't be expecting, anticipating the movements. Like I said, we are going to be working with our regular pulses. Your pulses are divided into your biopulse and your monopulse. Your biopulse is when your pulses go to both paddings. Your paddings are going to be round. With your mono, it goes in one direction. So it goes from one point to the next. So just a recap, bio, both of your paddings is going to get pulses. With your mono, it's only going to go in one direction from one pad to the next. Let's have a look at the rest of the settings. So with your pulse width, it says how long your pulse is going to be. The longer the pulse, the stronger the pulse is going to be. The shorter, the more gentler your pulse is going to be. Then we're going to have a look at your frequency. Your frequency is how many times your current hops up and down between your pads in a second. If the frequency is quite high, it is going to be more superficial. If your frequency is low, you're going to be able to work deeper into the muscle. When you work on the face, you are normally going to start on, 
120. When you work on the body, you are going to start on 90. Next, we're going to have a look at relaxation and contraction. Your contraction is where your muscle contract. Your relaxation is where the muscle relax. Your relaxation and contraction should always be the same. When you start on the face, you're always going to have one second contraction and one second relaxation. When you work on the body, you are always going to start on 1.5 seconds, especially if it's a new client and the muscles are not as good as the regular exercises. As you progress throughout your treatment, you can go up to three seconds per pulse. If your client comes in and she already got good muscle tone, then you can start slightly higher on your contraction and your relaxation. So I'm going to start with showing you the leg and we can show the contraction on the legs just because it's the area where you can see most of the contraction. And with all of your paradigm, you're always going to have a band that you have to wrap around your client's leg once the padding is on just to make sure it stays firmly in place. One thing to remember about your thoracic machine, you have got different paddings. You've got a black one and a red one. Your black is always meant to go on the insertion of your muscle and your red one on the origin. Once you finish your anatomy and physiology, especially your muscle unit, you will have a better understanding on the insertion and origin. But just for a brief recap, your origin is the part of your muscle that doesn't move and your insertion is the part of the muscle that shortens or lengthens that moves. When we do our thoracic treatment, you are always going to need something to conduct electricity. You can either use a silane solution, which is a salty solution. You generally do a teaspoon of salt with a liter of water. The other option is you can get different gels that you can use for your thoracic. We, in general, use the water and the siding solution. It's just an easier way to do. So we are first gonna start with your padding. You are never gonna apply the pad straight onto your client's skin because you can cause an uh, electrical burn on your client or the intensity would be too much. So you're gonna find the origin of the muscle. So we're going to start on the inside. You want to make sure that the contact that you've got with your client is good. So when you do your bands, make sure that it is nice and firm on your client. You move the towel this way. Move the towel a tiny bit. inside and remember when you do it should be nice and tight so that your pads don't move so that's the inside of the thigh remember red goes to the area where the muscle doesn't move black goes to the area where the muscle moves and always make sure you know where which button is otherwise when you start using the machine you are not going to be able to tell your client where the contraction is going to be. Remember red goes to the region and black where the muscle padding is going to be on the outside. One tip I will give you when you do your padding for revision for your theory exams, mm -hmm. go about the muscles that you are padding so that it's an extra way for you to revise your theory. So then you've got your last padding on the outside. I'm just going to loosen the lower one so we can get it into the inside. I 
as you can see, pads are nice and firm, and then you can start. So we are going to work on bio. We have previously explained on what it's going to do. We are going to pretend that the client has got medium muscle tone. So we are going to set our contraction time on two and our relaxation on two. As I've mentioned, you're always going to start with your pulse width on 90 for the body and I think your foot should be 14. No, 19. You've also got your timing. In general, when you do your thoracic, your treatment should be between 30 to 40 minutes. You are going to start each muscle at a time and you have to increase until we get a muscle contraction. You'll have a good look. Important to remember, you need to know where which lead goes, otherwise your client is not going to know when to expect a contraction. For today's purposes, I'm going to put it sort of on 10, but once we've got a good contraction, we'll do about 8 contractions, just so that you know how the contraction looks and you would know what to look for. Everything is off before you start your machine. Always make sure that everything is switched off. Okay, just to come back with your pulse width, we are going to just do a general one. So with your pulse width, I'm going to put it on 660. I'm going to let my client know what to expect. So always let your client know with your contraction, you're going to start feeling a tingly sensation and then you're going to get that muscle contraction. I'm going to start with the inside of your thigh, so if you can let me know when you feel something. With your contractions, you're always going to switch it up. Take when? It out of balance. Yeah. Can you feel? Yeah. Wow. How's that feeling too much? Or oh, that's, okay? that's quite a lot, yeah. Is it too much? It's okay. Nope, that's not enough. So as you can see, that is the muscle contraction we are looking for. Now you're going to your client now, we're going to go to the middle of the thigh. And remember, you only increase when it's contracting and you take it off wow, when it's not contraction. Right. Too much or is it feeling all right? It feels... Um, too much? It's okay. It's not too bad. And then you're going to deploy it now, we're going to the outside. You ready? And there we go. Wow. How's it feeling for you? It feels good. Now when you think about when you go to the gym, the first, let's say, 5-10 minutes of the gym, you warm up your muscle. So you're going to start with your treatment, give your client about 5-10 minutes, ask her if she's comfortable, and then you can increase for the duration of your exercise. So let's have a look, let's go 10 contractions, 1, 2, 3, How are you feeling yourself? Like, oh, yeah, it feels really, really good. It's just, um, at first it was unusual, but then once you just relax into it, it's fine. Nine. So remember, when you increase your intensity, it's always going to be while your client is contracting. When you are decreasing, you are going to wait for the relaxation, and then you can switch it off. I'm going to start with the middle one. And then the last one. And there's your muscle contraction. 